Lesun is leader in lighting and electrical test instruments. Hello everyone, this is Daisy. Let me introduce to you the installation and use of the LPCE2, LMS 9000C, High Precision CCD Spectroradiometer Integrating Sphere System. The following is the video catalog. 1. Hardware Installation 2. Software Installation 3. System Calibration 4. Measurement Please check the packing list when you receive the shipment. The long wooden case contains the cabinet. There is a RS-232 communication box and other wiring inside. Integrating sphere is in rectangular wooden case. Some small paper boxes may also inside of the wooden case. Here are the accessories of the big integrating sphere. Including E27 E40 holder, holder base, assistant lamp holder and tube lamp holder. This is the LMS 9000C High Precision CCD Spectroradiometer. Accessories include, USB cable, optical fiber, temperature sensor, photo detector. This is the digital power meter. This is the DC power supply. This is the LSPAC power source. This is the standard lamps. There is also a plastic bag in the package that contains a CD, calibrate certificates, and guarantee cards. There is software, user manual, operation video and related standards in the CD. Assemble the cabinet. Open the back door. Here is the power cord for the cabinet. Pass it through the hole. There is a wiring diagram on the door. Please do the wiring according to the diagram. Put the power meter in the first cell. Connect the wires as shown in the figure. Put the spectroradiometer in the second cell. Assemble the optical fiber as shown in the figure. Connect the other side of the optical fiber, photo detector, and temperature sensor to the integrating sphere. Connect the other of the USB cable to the computer. Put the DC power supply in the third cell. Connect the wires as shown in the figure. Put the LSPAC power source in the last cell. Connect the wires as shown in the figure. This is the output line for the AC power source. Connect it from the output to the cabinet terminals. Connect the other end of the USB cable to the computer. Remove the two screws that lock the integrating sphere. Connect the detector, optical fiber, and temperature sensor to the side of the integrating sphere. Please pay special attention that the optical fiber breaks easily and don't bend it too much. Please wear gloves to prevent damage the inner coating. Install the holder base. The holder base can be installed at the top or bottom of the integrating sphere. Loose the socket head screw, and remove the block. Pass the four core wires through the hole. Adjust the direction of the holder base. Lock the screw. Please note that the direction of the handle should be down same as this gap after locking. Connect the wires of the holder base to the back of the power box according to the color. Four wires connect the cabinet with the sphere. Install the assistant lamp fixture. Remove the screws and washers. Loose the screw and remove the block. Pass the wires and the end of the fixture through the integrating sphere, and then fix the fixture. Take out the assistant lamp bulb and insert it into the assistant lamp fixture. Just keep the assistant lamp always inside of the sphere. Please prepare a two core wire to connect the fixture to the front of the DC power supply. No need to connect for the time being and just put it away. There is a built-in cross laser in our big integrating spheres. Turn on the laser switch, you can refer to the cross laser in the sphere to install the sample. The cross laser may point to wrong direction due to the transportation. Then you need to turn this cover counterclockwise to make the cross laser adjustable. 
Use a tape measure from the bottom center of the sphere. Adjust the direction of the cross laser to make sure it points to the center of the integrating sphere. Turn the cover clockwise to lock it after adjustment. If you want to use another integrating sphere, just connect the optical fiber, photo detector, and temperature sensor. And do the calibration and measurement accordingly. Connect the grounding line for the cabinet. Connect the power cord with 220 volts 50 or 60 Hz power source. Turn on the cabinet and turn on all the devices. Lasun LMS 9000C software can run on any Windows system. It needs two USB 2.0 communication ports on your computer. Copy all the files in the CD to the computer. Double click to install the LMS 9000C software, the driver for LMS 9000C and the driver for communication box. Open the software. Enter the configure interface. Choose the correct models, including spectroradiometer, AC power source, DC power source and digital power meter. Input the diameter of the integrating sphere and sample position. Click Auto Search Communication Port. After successful communication between software and hardware, click OK. We need to calibrate the system before measurement. Please note, Lasun provides standard lamps of different power according to different sizes of integrating spheres. Please wear gloves. Take out the standard lamp carefully. Install the lamp to the lamp holder and install the lamp holder on the holder base. Turn on the laser and make sure the lamp is in the center of the sphere. Then turn off the laser. Connect the wires of the holder to the power terminals. Close the integrating sphere. All our standard lamps are constant current DC lamps. Turn the switch to DC. Click Spectrum Calibrate. The correct DC model and COM port will be automatically here if you did the configure successfully. Check Auto Power On and Auto Power Off. Input the rated current, reference voltage, color temperature and lumen according to the certificate. Check Auto for Integrating Time. Usually we input 15 minutes preheating time. Click Start. The calibration will start automatically after 15 minutes preheating. A spectrum is shown here. Click Save and Exit. If the system is in frequent use, it needs to be calibrated weekly. In general, Flux Calibrate is not needed. We can do the measurement after successful calibration. The sample needs to be installed in the center of the sphere. Lasun has E27 E40 holder for bulbs and T5 T8 holder for tubes. Other samples can be placed directly on the holder base. Lasun can also design special holders for you if you need. Connect the power wires to power terminals. Please note the positive and negative poles if it is a DC sample. Close the sphere. Turn the AC-DC switch to the correct position according to the sample. Always keep this switch at outside position. Click Self-Absorption. Confirm that you are using the correct coefficient. If the sample is bared light source or very small luminaire, choose no correction. If the sample is big luminaire, need to choose or add correction. How to generate a correction with the assistant lamp will be explained in 4.3. Choose the correct power source model. Input the correct electrical parameters according to your sample. Check these options if you need to turn on and turn off the sample automatically during the test. You can also click here to turn on or turn off the sample. Always check auto for integration time. Click warm up setup. Set the preheating parameters. Warm up can be checked or unchecked as needed. Click start test. The software enters the test interface or preheating interface. The test results will display on the software after the test is finished. As mentioned above, if you need to test big luminators, such as street light, panel light, in the integrating sphere, 
assistant lamp is needed for correction. Click self-absorption. The correction is related to the shape and color of the luminaire. Here are the saved corrections. If you ever generated the correction before, just select and click OK. If need to add new correction, click Add. You can input the sample model and the factor directly and save. But the correct factor needs to be tested. So connect the power lines for the assistant lamp. If the DC power source is already communicated successfully in configure interface, the correct DC model and COM port will be here automatically. Input the current, voltage according to the assistant lamp certificate. The warm-up time is generally 15 minutes. According to the instructions here, the standard lamp and assistant lamp are both inside of the sphere, but don't connect the wires for the standard lamp. Close the sphere. Click Start. Only the assistant lamp is lit. The software enters the next step after the preheating time. According to the instructions here, remove the standard lamp and install the sample luminaire. But don't connect the wires for the sample. Close the integrating sphere. Click finish and the software will calculate the correction factor automatically. Click OK. Then you can turn off the assistant lamp and remove its power wires from the DC power source. Turn on the sample and do the test according to step 4.2. You can click save to save the file for all the corrections to your computer. Then next time if you need to reinstall the software, you just click load to import all the saved corrections. Here is the typical test report of LMS 9000 CCCD spectroradiometer. Thanks for watching.